everyone. Welcome to the Adventure Pals weekly stream, where we're going all arty, I guess, with Art Dink. Art with Art Dink. I'm Danny. This is Alex. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alex. Hi, hi. So, there's this company. They're called Art Dink. You may have heard of them in passing. You may know them as, like, uh... I, I don't know what you would know them for. Let's just start playing some of their games. Yeah, they're, they're interesting. So, what you're seeing now are uh, various humanoid uh, domino figures. They're doing a little dance there. Look at him go. Are you okay? I am. I'm still literally in the process of setting up. Okay. Okay, I think I finally finished setting up. This week's stream had an extreme setup period. Anyway, this is No One Can Stop Mr. Domino. And they cannot. The Japanese version here is fully uncensored, so you're going to see some shit you didn't see in North oh, America. Oh man! Uncut and out of control edition! <laughs> it's like the... It's the got a DVD cover with Mr. Domino making a, a weird O face. Oh! And it's got the big red UNRATED on it! Beautiful! <laughs> Here's a difference right here. Uh, it has an actual vocal theme song in the Japanese version. There, uh, the manual gave credit to some artist that I've instantly forgotten, but it's some licensed artist that they contracted to make a song about a killer domino. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. For all we know, Mr. Domino wants the best for us. He wants to peacefully coexist with mankind. He's a very loving domino. We, well, we don't know that, but we can assume he's a loving domino. You know? I'll, I'll get into who Art Dink is and their history and whatnot after this. Uh, for now, I think this game basically speaks for itself. It's uh, it's about a little guy named Mr. Domino and his friend Ms. Domino. The game doesn't go into detail about their relationship. That's Professor Domino. Oh, good. That's the alien Domino. Yeah. And uh, Demon Domino, maybe? I don't know about Demon. These are all listed in the U.S. instruction manual, but turns out I don't have a copy of that anymore. I do, however, have the Japanese version, because that makes sense for me to have, instead of the much more common U.S. version. That's talking about both Fart Dink, Art Donk, bless you. <laughs> so disrespectful! I'll make you guys love Art Dink. You You'll will see. love Art Dink! Admit it, Art Dink is the greatest company of all time! Domino-kun and Domino-chan. Let's go with Mr. Domino. You can also select the number on your Domino. I remember that from- because I actually have a go with US the classic, copy of this game. The classic 69. Oh my... Fanny. What? I guess games are art, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> they are now. Huh. The music's by, uh, Kanjani8, according to Ultimo in chat. Thank you. Now this game's difficult, so I may not be able to say all that I want to say. Uh, so Alex, feel free to fill in any uh, gaps. In I my feel commentary. bad, but at, at anything in, I I remember I play I got this game for how much? Like really cheap at GameStop when the PS2 and God. ran out of dominoes already. Cause see, you have a limited number you can set down, if I recall correctly. Yeah. And what you have to do are a lot of Rube Goldberg traps. Or set up a lot of Rube Goldberg traps, and um, then go through and knock the stuff down, if I recall correctly, right? That's true. It's, it's like a lot like Domino Rally in that way, if Domino Rally had game elements, or just, you know, just set up some fucking dominoes. So what you're doing here is you're going on a... Uh, it's, a it's essentially a circular risk course throughout each level. You make multiple laps. On each lap, you want to set up as many traps as possible. There's these glowing icons that you want to put a domino in front of, and then on your next lap through, you want to hit that domino. These other glowing spots show what happens after you hit the domino, and depending on how they're placed, like that, you can cause a chain reaction. I'm just gonna just interrupt. Yeah, we uh, grab the stream. Looks great. Oh, cool. Yeah, you guys did a good stand. Now, ideally, you want to hit them all in one lap to get the most uh, points, because every time you successfully link a trap with another one... I don't know what to call these things, I'm just going to call them traps. It'll become apparent why later on. But, uh, 
Every time you link them together, you get a different, uh, a new combo multiplier that increases your scoring potential and will help you be the best player in the world. There. That is the worst stage one performance you will ever see in this lifetime. Beautiful. You cleared it, though. I practiced this earlier today and I got a perfect combo and I was like, oh yeah, no problem. I can do this. I'm the best domino there is. And like everyone in chat is saying, art thing proving games can be art because art's even in their name. Oh, just you wait. Art and dink, so games can both be... Yeah, exactly. Tyza Horry said games can both be art and dink, and I agree. <laughs> That's a perfect they can way be of Mr. Dink. Do you think this? Do you think Mr. Dink from Doug worked on? Was named after Art Dink? None of the Art Dink employees have ever even heard of Doug. Don't <laughs> don't even try hey, to associate. Hey, hey! Don't disparage the name and popularity of Doug and its sequel, Brand Spankin' New Doug. Don't. Doug only wishes he could come up with something this brilliant. <laughs> Doug is a boring little boy. He is a crushing little bore. Okay. Yes. It requires very precise movement. Uh, another change for the US version, uh, no Ritz crackers. Oh. This has actual branding. I noticed there's a lot of actual brands here. It's making me hungry for Japanese snacks. We got some Pocky. Oh man. I, pref oh, I man. prefer men's Pocky. <laughs> Go this way. Now if I was cool, I would do this like speeding through the whole game. Oh. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm not cool. In fact, I'm a fool. This is not food fight, audience. This is nowhere near food fight. There are no brands screaming and dying at each other, so this is not similar. I no apologize. brands, no masters. I ran out of dominoes! <laughs> I'm I'm sorry for this exceedingly poor Domino Kun performance. This is no one can. So I, I got a few of the traps. Oh god, I can't even. Chat is really good. I should just let them chat talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Plus narrate this. Can mentions uh, the beat sounds like a uh, so. mm. Oh yeah, some of these traps are pretty weird. Yeah. I don't even know what to do here because I didn't set up a domino in front of the thing. Let's hit the worst tile possible, the reset tile. It resets everything in the level. But it doesn't restore your health, so nope. if you're about to die, you're, you're gonna screwed, die. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm gonna let that happen. I might as well just restart the level at this point. Okay, don't don't do it, Mr. Domino. Oh, he turned back into a regular domino. Oh man! Like we knew would happen. So one thing about the Japanese version, Unlimited continues. The US one, which was published by Acclaim of all people, uh, yeah! changed very little, but it had uh, Limited continues, it uh, censored out some things you'll see in the next level, and uh, it got rid of the brands. And what is the world without brands? Exactly! Again, if you haven't seen the hit threshold uh, slash Fireman's Fund Insurance Company joint uh, food fight, uh, go see it. It's a very terrible film about a world without brands and how terrible that would be. So let us all remember and respect brands, just as Mr. Domino does here. Oh man, I miss living near LA because there was a lot of just... Because there were a lot of really... I would just go to LA and go to like a Japanese supermarket and just load up on some really, really, really cheap chocolate snacks. Don't fuck this up, Danny. Domino. Bring me some- Oh man, milk! Oh, I want all these snacks. Chat, give me Japanese snacks. Or just snacks in general. From everywhere. Give me snacks from all over. Oh, my score. Oh no, your- Oh, your score got ruined. Hmm. I saw Hori from chat, uh, mentions if the European version had the same changes because, uh, JPC published it, and in their branding, they did not try to disguise it was Japanese at all. They kind of hyped it up like, uh, you know, a fun Japanese game, so. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Alright, I got my health. I don't know if you need to hit all the traps in this level. Uh, knowing my luck, you probably do. So I got all the traps except for one. 
what you're seeing here is exceptional play up this until the very end play. where I just ruin everything. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Sorry, again, our thing is just really pleasant sometimes, and a lot of their design choices are just really... Sometimes. Sometimes. We... Oh, of course I needed to hit them all. Well, let's see if I can break the bounds of human achievement by doing this. By doing two laps on one life bar. Oh, wait, here's another... Oh man, yeah, give me those matcha Kit Kats, those are good. Where's Kit Kats? Uh, it's Jeff, and it's, uh, he offered Kit Kats, good. Got it. Uh, Taizo Hori's talking about actually the Acclaim option, and, and other folks are actually loud chats talking about the Acclaim option in general. Apparently they tried to sell off the rights to Mr. Domino, nobody knows if anybody bought them or not. Huh. Or, I know, I know a bit about that, <laughs> I know a bit about that option. Wow. Okay, I've set up the trap. I just need to make an entire lap without dying. Ooh, okay. Hey, we might be able to do this now. Do it! Domino, you better haul ass. And don't step on the R tiles no matter what you do. <laughs> oh, that was impressive! Thank you. Maybe my imagination, but I think this is actually harder in the Japanese one. I remember not having much trouble with this stage. Yeah, this same version. Here. Also, uh, the sun's in my eyes, something's wrong with my controller. Uh, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. And chat's offering to buy uh, the rights to Mr. Domino for a gritty re- <laughs> Mr. Domino, Act Zero. <laughs> here we go! I love that. Mm -hmm. Again, there's some art. Mr. Domino, a little bit of an unusual game. Uh, you don't know quite to the extent just yet. That'll become clear in the next level. <laughs> the next level is where this bit of censorship occurs. I'll point it out. But you'll probably know it when you yeah. see it. <laughs> also, after each level in the US one, it would say you're either the best in the county, the best in the country, best in the state. Here it's in Japanese. I assume it's like just best in the region or mm -hmm. best in the whole country or whatever. Now Mr. Domino turns his wrath on an average human family. Why? Well, they're in his way. They didn't believe in him. How do you know that? Oh my god, you're gonna get me! Oh, okay. also his Domino friends are, are, are trying to stop him. I think they're on the side of the humans. Traitors, in other words. Maybe they were just fucking sick and tired of the bullshit happening, I don't know. What bullshit could happen under Mr. Domino's rule? I was so perplexed by bullshit that I messed up. <laughs> I, I, let, I'm, let, I'm just saying, come on, maybe maybe Mr. Domino shouldn't murder people, I'm just saying. Alright. I like the noise the cat makes in this game. Yeah. Okay. Have I mentioned before uh, the controls? Not the no. best. No! Oh god. You only have a brief <laughs> window to uh, make input, like if you want to change direction. It has to be on a certain specific set of frames, even. It's, it's quite difficult at first. Yeah, I just have to... Grandpa! Uh, Grandpa! I remember this level, though, from the Acclaim version. We're gonna set Grandpa up for a fall. <laughs> oh my god, are we blackmailing Grandpa? You'll see. <laughs> so, not a perfect... Okay, here we go. Huh? <laughs> now, next up is the, uh... Why did you kill him?! We have to take out the sister, obviously. And yeah, here's where damn the her. here's where the bit of censorship comes in. See if you can guess what was censored. No wait, this is the mom first and then the sister. What the hell? Mr. Domino! These people gotta go, man. I had enough of them. I've had enough of the human's tyranny. God, God. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
It was the blood spurt. They took out the blood spurt. Okay, bye, Grandpa. Jesus Christ! They're dead. They're all dead. We killed, I've killed the entire them all. family. We did it. I'll, I'll uh, be quoting Smebs here. Mr. Domino cannot be stopped. He cannot be killed. He cannot be bargained with. <laughs> Don't even try. If you do, you will just end up on the receiving end of uh, a bomb, a literal bomb. A literal? Why did you put Mr. Why did you? Jesus, Mr. Domino, just slow down. I guess the sister got off easy. She was just humiliated. That's though, though seeing her teddy bear spurt blood may have been a little disturbing. <laughs> She's fucking made the sister experience ego death. <laughs> my toys are fucking bleeding. <laughs> my toys are bleeding. My mom blew up. My Whatever. Brother got punched I don't... in the nuts. This level is also pretty hard, but you don't have to hit all the traps in this one, so oh, that's, that's nice. Good. Please, no one make fun of me for my slow grandpa playstyle. <laughs> Hold trying... on, Major Domino's gotta go over here. I'm just trying to progress as far as possible. You're yeah, doing a good job. I didn't get stuck on the bridge, that's good. Don't hit the yard! Yeah. <laughs> this is so unfair looking. It really is, especially with the controls. Maybe they made the controls a little be better in the US one, though it's been a while since I've played it, so don't quote me on that. Oh man, apparently if you, according to uh, the Ultima in chat, apparently if you uh, do a full chain, uh, Grandpa goes crazy with the Super Saiyan pose. Oh yeah, uh, there's uh, there's speed runs for Mr. Domino. I recommend watching those. You get to see Grandpa at his full strength. Good, thank God. I just want someone to stop him. I cannot believe, but I, I want someone to stop Mr. Domino. The, the game and, and, and the game taunts me. It taunts me as if it can never happen. Even the title. Oh, what was that? Nope, I'm good. Oh, good, good, good. Ah, okay. <laughs> One of your friends was out riding that. I know. Wow, I ran out of Domino's two spaces before the last <laughs> one. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I hit enough traps. I would be happy to finish this level on the first try because it can be kind of rough. Hmm, chat mentions a confusing art dink with uh, Skip Limited. Another, yeah, another obscure Oh man, picture. I like that! Fuck, that sumo guy's pretty cool. Having fun. Whoa! This park rules, by the way. Bringing the environment to life. Darn. Oh no. Well, at least we can get the kid. Oh, they didn't die, though! No one's dying! The park seems so less dangerous! What did that family do that caused so much ire to Mr. Domino? <laughs> well, kind of a weak ending, but mm -hmm. still, that was a perfect change. See, it is possible. I can do it. You did it. Yep, feeling pretty good about myself right now. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Hmm. Uh, chat mentions we got any uh, Lunatic Dawn games. I do not, but Aww. we will be showing off a lot of other uh, yeah. art tank stuff. Yeah, they a lot of be. which people are familiar with, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hey, a train. Amusement park. Perfect place to kill a bunch of humans with no one noticing. People die at amusement parks all the time. People they, love they'd this. never know it was a little sentient domino that masterminded it all. Cause of everything, all the problems at Traction Park was Mr. Domino. <laughs> Traction Park. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't looked up Traction Park, uh, Action Park, uh, I'm a, I think some regulars may know, uh, but for new, new folks, I'm a real big uh, theme park and amusement park nerd. Action Park is a New Jersey theme park that is infamous for just being really, really bad, dangerous. It and, sounds uh, like a, a town for outlaws or something. It's just where places like they, the it's guy where who, human rules don't exist. Yeah, the, the the actual owner of the park, who was not a ride designer, decided to try to design a uh, looping water slide. We still don't. We barely. We have... still haven't found those people. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> mm. Also, anyone Rambler, uh, we have not played Incredible Crisis on this stream before, but I will make sure we get around to it because that is a good candidate. That was a game That's where a fun stream. I bought that game in 2001, two, and it was one of those games where it was very difficult. Uh oh. Very good. It was.
was very difficult. Oh, I'm fine. It was very difficult to play because of one level with certain sounds, and my mom was like, "What's going on in there?" And I'm like, "No, it's not." It's just a game making sex sounds. It's okay. And it's not even sex. I swear to God. Wow, they sure misspelled Ferris wheel there. I didn't even see how they misspelled it. I just knew all the letters were in the wrong order. Spooky ghosts. <laughs> If anyone was in there, they would have died. See, Mr. Domino plotted this knowing that many people would be here, but I guess they evacuated before he showed up. Thank Christ! And here he's just firing off all the fireworks at once. Who cares about the local residents? Make them suffer. <laughs> Sorry, uh, living in uh, Southern California, man. I know a lot of folks in Orange County who they hate the summer because it means it's if they live in Anaheim, it's fireworks season. At Disneyland, and Disneyland is just every night is just fucking fireworks, just banging all night. And if this is a perfect combo, I will shit my pants right here. Okay, but I'm not cleaning it Live up. on stream. I was gonna say, I don't have the cam set up, come on. Wow! I did it! You did it! I shut down the amusement park. Whoa, you did? So as mentioned before, there are alternate endings to these levels if you do manage to get a perfect combo, and that's this level's one. Though it can't match up to Grandpa going nuts. I remember Grandpa going Super Saiyan. Love this. It's just, and, and I guess this is kind of exempl- as we get into more games, uh, it'll make more sense, but I think this kind of exemplifies a lot of what makes Art Dink kind of feel a little special. It's just, they had a lot of just really unusual and just Yeah, the PlayStation idea. era was really a renaissance for them, because that's when they started really putting out their weird ideas and uh, somehow turning them into actual video games. Mm -hmm. Also, I have a confession. I have never beaten Mr. Domino because the stage is impossible. You can't tell me otherwise. The stage is just literally impossible. No one has ever beaten it. The speedrunners are lying. They hacked the game. They used um, the Game Genie, probably. Oh, I hate when speedrunners use the Game Genie. This level is divided up into two parts, mm. so don't think I'm doing well, because it's all going to turn to shit very soon. Oh, good. Full foot. Sewer foot. I love sewer foot. It's a sewer gear. Oh! I love that I hit myself with that last domino. <laughs> Go! It didn't turn out how I wanted it to. And in this level, your health drains very fast. So much so, I'm already in warning territory. And I bumped into the alligator. Not a great day for Mr. Domino. <laughs> I got health, but that's really not gonna last for long, as you'll see. Oh man, chat's talking about the PS, uh, the PlayStation Pong game that featured anthropomorphic Pong paddles. Whoa. Yeah, people are, man, I did not know that that was what that was about. I guess they had to have made, they had to do something to make Pong more interesting. Also, because inquiring minds in chat want to know, uh, Game Shark style, Game Shark speedruns from what I recall are not a, uh, whatchamacallit, we are not an actual thing, we are just being little dicks. Yeah. We're just little I'm, shitheads. I'm pretty we, sure that's not accepted at SDA, Alex. I, and I know! You know why? Because my uncle works at Nintendo, Danny. Uh-huh. He's worked at Nintendo for all his life. 50,000 years at Nintendo, and you- WHOA! Well, Someone... I killed one of my own kind, and that's good. You guys are just getting in my way anyways. All right, we're bringing out the big Oliver artillery now. One less soccer, Chet. Why? Come on now. Oh, we're getting old school now. Oh my God! Multi car pileup, good. Jesus Christ! Now what we got to do is go to the roof and finish off the last four traps. Unfortunately, that's impossible. You can't do it. You can't convince me otherwise. It's just not done. And I missed the trap, anyways. <laughs> Oh, good. People are talking about Nesticle's icon. Ah, Nesticle. The NES emulator of choice in 1984 or whatever. 
Hey, it was all we had. We didn't care that we were missing all the DPCM channels. We didn't care that the, the video emulation was shit. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> we were playing NES games on our computer. That's all. And we with something named after testicles. Yeah. With a bloody finger to flip us off if we want. Although I don't it's think it's a win-win. It... Please, for the love of God, run like you've never run before! Oh my... Oh man, now chat's all talking about... <laughs> oh no, Genesis, everybody, come on! This'll, this'll take the heat off of me for... Good, good, for yeah, you keep... You keep part, yeah, right? just, just pretend we don't, we're not seeing Danny. Restart me, please. I'm gonna give this level one more try before we move on. Someday I will stop Mr. Domino, but so far I haven't been able to. I liked Bloodlust Software until they started to try to do their own things that weren't whatever. <laughs> well, that's how they started out. They started out doing uh, indie PC games that were pretty much just uh, regular games, but with tons of blood. I that love was it. That big motif. Blood they did Lust. this really terrible fighting game and a Final Fight style game. There was also Noggin Knockers 1 and 2. Which... Yeah, people talking about Noggin Knockers! Which were uh, Pong, but with blood, of course. Oh, that's that's why everybody's talking about bloodlust, because of Pong. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh, Mr. Domino, you don't have time to step in gunk. Hardly got any time left at all. You have no time. I really want to beat this game. It makes me mad that I can't beat this game. You know, I think I'm the only ROM nerd who never used Nesticle or Genesis. In fact, in 2002, I had a friend who only used Nesticle. And I asked him why he didn't use, uh, oh gosh, frick, anything other, and screw it, screw and their it. literal reasoning was because of the bloody finger. Well, that's true, the other emulators don't have bloody fingers. Now we're going to travel back in time before Mr. Domino dies his inevitable death. Rip. Bye, cool world. And there he goes. Well, much like everything else on Earth, the only thing that could stop Mr. Domino was the inevitable lapse of time. Much like with us all. Think True. about it, won't you? That's Mr. Domino. It's Mr. Domino! It's very cheap and pretty common, the US version is. Mm -hmm. uh, I would check it out. It's, it's, it's one fun. of the more unique games, PlayStation's library, and it's really playable and fun. It's not like anything else. And it's got killer dominoes. It does! Now next up... Switch to something a little bit more traditional. Uh, chat talking about nesticle hacks that only... Hacks that only work in nesticle. Oh. We should... Chat, I am going to... I feel bad. I am going to... I am going to have to stop commenting on emulator stuff on the thing because I will talk all day with y'all. Just use FCE Ultra. There. Done. Or BizHawk. Is that a good emulator? I just assume it is. Yeah. Love Lego Island. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Chad's trying to bring up that certain piece of genitalia again. Oh no. Kibosh on that. Nope. We were only talking about Mr. Domino's genitalia. We love, we love Mr. Domino. Oh man. <laughs> People talking about your old site. Anyways. It would be great if the PS2 would read this disc. Yeah, that'd be cool. It happens though. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh. okay. <laughs>
We are running into no shortage of issues today. What a day. Anyways, hey chat, we love you. People telling us to block the disc. I actually just wiped it on my pants, so we're good. <laughs> and what game is this, Sammy? Well, Alex, this would be A Train. Oh, I love A-Train. A-Train. Money, power, respect. Wait, what does it say on the cover? I think it says money, power, and respect, actually. Okay, good. It shares the same subtitle as the Scarface game. I... Uh... I'm glad. Oh, good. Uh-oh. I've been handed the controller. I guess it's my turn to play. Uh-huh. In case you're wondering, this is going to be a disaster. This is A Train 4 Evolution Global. Trains, power, money. It's basically the same. <laughs> yeah, you know Scarface. You know you know that whole it's it just like it's like Scarface to replace the Coke with trains. <laughs> <laughs> First you get the trains, and you get the money, and then you, you get, get the dominoes. <laughs> and then you get the art dink. So A-Train 4 was released as a PlayStation launch title in Japan, and what we eventually got a year later was A4 Evolution Global, which is like this expanded, revised edition. It also had multiple language support. Oh, I... of my interest? Yeah, first you choose your language, and then you choose the country of your interest. Oh, I guess I'll go to Germany. No one ever goes to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for any Germans in the audience. I'm actually half German, so... Yeah. You will to hear, s'il vous plaît. Bitte warten. <laughs> Bitte warten. Ah, here we go. This is the art tank I know and love. Very long. Yep. Alex, your objective is to keep playing until you run out of money. Okay. In the meantime, so... This is what uh, Art Dink was known for before they entered their weirdo PlayStation era. They uh, they made a whole bunch of train sims for Japanese PC platforms. The FM Towns, PC-98, 68000, all that good stuff. I think there were a few ports to platforms at the time. There's an NES version of the original A-Train, of all things, which I've never played, but it sounds terrible. Let's get me a train. Now, around this time, they entered a partnership with Maxis, who you, whose logo you saw. Hey! Oh, that guy's cool. I like him. Inc All right, inc let's... Increase your social link with him. You'll, you'll, uh, it'll... It'll pay off? Yeah, it'll pay okay, off. <laughs> you'll unlock Mara. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, after several years on uh, Japanese PC platforms, they released a PlayStation port. And around that time, they'd established a partnership with Maxis, whose logo you saw at the beginning. Maxis published A Train Is that 3 jail? for PCs. Yeah, Is make a jail. jail. They published A Train 3 as A Train in the US, and they published A Train 4 on the PlayStation as A Train. So there were two different games called A Train in the US back then. Oh, good. From the beginning, uh, by the way, I'm citing a source that I read through just last night. If you want to know more about Art Dink, look up uh, this website called scroll.vg. Oh, there, yeah. There, this fellow named Ray Barnholt, who you may know from his work on Retronauts and other places, made a whole issue of a magazine about Art Dink, and it's super in-depth, and I would say the definitive source for information about Art Dink in the U.S., because no one else ever talks about it. So, here's a funny thing. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, uh, you need to build more fish. Okay, I'm getting the That's below water? I guess we're not, not... We're not building an aquarium. Build an amusement park. A big one. Now, the A-Train series at first was basically just straight up placing rails and making a, the longest railway possible. Basically making, making a railroad that spans across an entire continent. And it was sort it was weird. It was scenario based and oddly more action oriented because if your trains collided in that game, your game was over. <laughs> in here they just kinda bump into each other and it goes, Oh no, that shouldn't have happened. At least nobody died. 
But in the original A Train, it's like, no, huge disaster. You're you're getting put away for years. I mentioned Disneyland, so I'm turning this into Anaheim. Hold on. Now, by this point, uh, you may notice a, uh, a resemblance to SimCity 2000, which was developed and released around the same time as A Train 4. I like to think that back then, uh, Art Dink and Maxis were sort of like the Beatles and the Beach Boys, sort of playing off each other and influencing oh. one another. But, uh, yeah, that eventually bore fruit in the form of a business partnership. Though, unfortunately, Maxis just localized those two games, and then after that, they stopped. <laughs> that was it. They localized A-Train 3 and A-Train 4, and I think they released... Yeah, Maxis released a PlayStation version of SimCity 2000, and that was their last published console game that wasn't published under EA or whatever. So it was a brief partnership that made a whole lot of sense, considering that they both occupied the same market. It's just unfortunate that it never really took off. Okay. Cool. You figured this out yet? No! <laughs> Good. In Japan, though, this series just kept on going. They kept making A-Trains every few years, revitalizing it for new platforms. They released a PC version somewhat recently. I think uh, maybe as recently as 2014 even? No, that's wrong. The uh, the 3DS version was released in 2014, and that was brought out in North America, <laughs> believe it or not. After many, many years of no A-Train releases, we suddenly get the, the 3DS one. Also, if you want to get really mad, look up A-Train on Steam and read the user reviews. No, don't! I did that earlier today, and <laughs> it made me blow my stack. I tell you what, I was fuming. Because... <laughs> okay, yeah. Grandpa, continue. I was hooting and hollering, but like in a bad way. Because, like, this is the sort of game where it attracts people who are super devoted, but they're also assholes. To the point where someone with 250 hours in the game says, I don't recommend this because it doesn't have enough trains in it. You spent 250 hours on this game, and your big issue is that they didn't include the Japanese licensed trains. Okay, dude. That sounds completely reasonable. Thanks. <laughs> Give me the construction materials. Danny, how do I get construction materials? You need to uh, load up your train with... Construction? Yes. How do I do that? I don't know. I'm making this up. This is not helpful. I can't even build a church. How will these people be safe? <laughs> I kid. The Church of Trains. How will these people know the good news about trains? Stop it, Foreman! <laughs> so, despite uh, the Steam audience, this game did build up a, uh, a pretty big fan base. Mm -hmm. And it the game greatly expanded in scope over the years. The big thing about this one, A-Train 4, is that it added buses! You could run bus lines in addition to trains. But the problem is, uh, buses only transport people, whereas trains can transport people and materials, so you need to balance that. From what I've seen, it's very in-depth, very complex, and something that I have almost no interest in, I'm sorry to say. Hey, it's okay, I'm having the same issue. Sim games and me don't get along. I, mean, I like some sim games, but it's sometimes difficult for me to get into them, just in general. Not because they're bad, but I just have issues with, like... Oh, a satellite. I get overwhelmed. Like, I think SimCity 2000 was the perfect uh, mix of complexity and ease of play, because I really enjoyed that. But other games after that, I, I, have I no, just can't. I have no clue how to, how to just wheel some cargo on it. Okay, start placing tracks and don't stop. Just place okay. all the tracks. Alright, time to go. This is how we're going to win the Railway Wars. That's right, it was Natsume who did the 3DS version of A-Train, and the localization's good? That's good to hear. I was thinking about getting that, but maybe not at full price. Or is it $20 now? They may have dropped it. Clarth, yeah, I hear City Skylines is really good, and... Yeah, I've been wanting to play that, actually. That's the thing. I think the city building uh, genre is really 
do for this big boom period because I see tons of people talking about city skylines. I think now that we've moved away from SimCity and just acknowledged the fact that any more sequels they make will be garbage, we can start <laughs> yeah. we can start looking to other sources. And if Art Dink had the resources to... Have you to... seen my great train? Yeah, this rules. <laughs> <laughs> train sucks. It's, trains are totally capable of 90 degree turns. <laughs> they are. You're right. I would... Okay, I see. They would speed past the junction and then, like, back up the whole way and just go in reverse to the town. Well, whatever. But in short, it's about way more than trains. It's about uh, city management, managing your finances. I think there's even a stock market you can look yeah. into. It's ridiculously complex, but if that's what you're into, it's supposed to be really good. And not only is it really good, so are my reels. That's a good reel line, Alex. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Out of my face. Molten track drifting. Yes! Make the make the trains do an initial uh, drift. I don't know how to do that. I also know how to get rid of these windows. Get out of my face! Oh, this is the worst. So by now, A Train is fully 3D, and one of the big features is you can ride on your trains and look at your city that's that you've built up around you. And that sounds like a minor feature, but it's weirdly it's really it's weirdly compelling. Because I saw a, a trailer for this game, and I'm like, okay, this makes sense now. This is actually pretty cool. It actually is. Um, I've played a very some games that do similar things. And I have so I am. SimCity tried to do that with uh, Streets of SimCity and so on. Mm -hmm. I think that was SimCity 2000 era? Yeah. Yeah, SimCity was good for a while, but unfortunately EA happened. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. I'm sorry, oh, everyone. I love that. <laughs> I mean, your sponsorship deal with EA tanked already. I mean, I love EA. I love video games. So fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. Electronic Arts. It's in the game. Or buying your company. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, I don't know how else I can make these lines. I don't know what I'm doing. Have they stopped you from constructing anymore? No. Oh, you're still going. You still got a ton of money to waste. I'm trying. I'm trying to waste the money as quickly as possible, but I've somehow added these screens that make it impossible to navigate the field. Taiso Hori says there's a train racing game on PS2, and it's called Extreme Express. Yes! That rules. Art Tank, uh, their PlayStation 2 era wasn't as great in terms of the kind of innovative stuff you saw on PS1, but they did release some weird games, like uh, Battle Construction Vehicles, where hopped in a forklift or whatever and beat up on a bulldozer. It was a fighting game with construction equipment. That rules, by the way. That got released in Europe, and I'm trying to track down a copy, because holy god, that sounds like my kind of game. Oh, your tracks are beautiful. <laughs> I'm helping. I like the uh, the crisscross part. It's kind of like that one level in Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty, yeah. This is just like Mario Kart. Yeah, you just have to give the, the train a feather so it can hop over the gap. And continue on without, uh, you know, derailing and killing everyone on board. Oh, that's not gonna happen. You can't build it directly through a city, Alex. <laughs> you... you can't build a, a rail in the middle of Grandma's house. I'm destroying their. I'm destroying these crops. Doesn't that count for something? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't. Read. Man, someone who's really into this game is watching this right now. Oh man, screaming. I can't wait! I can't wait! I love you two guys. <laughs> Okay, I... I'm just... Why are you gonna take all my money from me? Alright, look at my expenses. Okay, no income and three million <laughs> in expenses. Sounds good. <laughs> Somehow they've given you 34 million dollars to work with. I don't know why. You should just come clean, be like, look, I lied on my resume. I mean, I've tried to put down tracks and make it look How like I know what I'm doing. How do I make really fast? Oh, I think I know. Saw a thing with the clock. Here there we it go. is. Here we go. Maximum speed. 
Wasting so much money. Every second is a million dollars wasted. It's not wasting money fast enough! Man, I am so sorry. I'm having such difficulty <laughs> bankrupting us. Well, Alex, you've been a good sport, but I think it's time to move on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've said my piece. But basically, that's what made Art Dink, these sorts of uh, sims that got a really hardcore fan base, and they made a ton of sequels and were successful. But that's not what we're here to see. Okay, so Applesauce are from chat, um, who is who we're sourcing here, um, is mentioning Richard Garriott's hatred of EA, and as, if you played Wizardry, you'll know that, but, um, we mentioned that last week, actually, but, uh, I'll just quote you directly from chat to anyone else talking to chat. Uh, remember when Richard Garriott named a section of his mansion Trip Hawkins, but backwards because he did, he hated EA so much? Wow. No! No! And that is some incredibly bizarre... Let's go ask him about it. No! I'm sorry! He has, like, machine guns and skeletons and swords and a dungeon. Oh, that's right. He has... <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know how else to put this, but I'm not gonna... I am not going to piss off a man with a... With a hatchet, a chainsaw, an Uzi, and a dungeon. You know he has all those things? Well, I know he has a dungeon. I know he has the gun because he chased yeah. that guy off. That's right. I know he has swords, and I know because I've seen pictures of this mansion and him being like, look at my swords. So, yeah. Richard I'm sorry. Garriott, uh, ultimate creator, also known as Lord, Lord British, uh, lives here in Austin. Does he still? I know mm -hmm. he did. Mm -hmm. He owns this palatial estate, and uh, sometimes people sneak in and try to party, and he comes out with an, an Uzi and chases him off. <laughs> I don't think this happens on a regular basis, though. <laughs> he has a dungeon. As far as we know, it's unused. No, it's used for parties, and he has a real skeleton in it. I forget what the name of the skeleton is, but yeah. You're making Richard Garriott seem much cooler than what you see on screen, but this game is let's actually go to, very Let's cool. go back to something chill and not terrifying. So this is Topolo. This was only released in Japan and actually wasn't developed by Art Dink. They contracted a studio called Flip Flop to make this. But... Despite the fact that it's not Art Dink made, it very much fits in with what they do and how they work. Topo ah. Uh... Now what is Topolo? Yeah, well, what is this? It's not a game, I can tell you that much. It's a, a virtual toy. What you see here is, I guess you're supposed to be from the point of view of a child, mm -hmm. and you've laid out all your books on the ground, and when you zoom in to see one of them, you enter Imagination Land. Hmm. Where's my toys? Where are, my, where are they? Where are your toys? There are oh. no toys here. <laughs> Let me back up. Okay, I'm gonna stand up, exit my own little world. I know there's creatures wandering around in the sky field, so let's see about that. Hmm. Hmm. Asakon Deacon from chat mentions Topolo was designed co-programmed by the guy who made Atlas Neo Atlas game. Art Dink. Oh, really? Okay, so it did have Art Dink staff then. All okay. Right. Here it is. Now, basically, this game is just Legos. You put together these little Lego-like blocks to make creatures. And when you put them in these 3D worlds, they come to life. Oh, interesting. I, th I think you can set rotation points and whatnot to tell it what the legs are, or if it should fly, or whatever. Oh, wow, really? Mm-hmm. Huh. It's very simple, but pretty cool, especially because you can make your own stuff. That is super interesting. In fact, let's do that right now. Oh, it was by uh, Pasacon again. Thank you so much for the info, by the way. Uh, mentions Yoichi Yamaguchi, and he founded Flip Flop after leaving Art Dink to work for another company. Oh, nice. So it's an, I guess it's X Art Dink. <laughs> oh, wow. So we've picked the uh, the man template. We've got a little dude with blue arms, red legs. From here, you can change around his body. You can repaint him, and most importantly, you can add new blocks. <laughs> yes, you can see, I'm adding blocks to my creation. Looks like you're just adding blocks to its crotch. Oh. 
Yeah. Well, that was the default location. I've just been mashing the button. Well, what does it look like now? Hang on, let me add a couple more just to be sure. I... Okay, I honestly hope this is turning out like I think it is. Okay, I can't add any more blocks. He now has all the blocks that he can handle. Okay, let's uh, go back. Yep, looking good, dude. We're very mature adults here. Look, I'm just going by the defaults. I'm showing off the game in its default natural state. Alright, let's see what this little guy looks like, I guess. So what we want to do is place him in the scene. Look at him go! He's strutting his stuff! Whoa! He took off. I love that strut. That's what makes this, really. He's just like, yep. Mm -hmm. You see this? Danny Cowan! What? I entered a menu and pushed circle like 50 times. I couldn't have known this would have been the result. Alex has been incapacitated. I am sorry! And hope spammers are looking chat because I can't stop looking at Oh no! Artong! Artong! <laughs> let's uh let's stand up. Let's hope mom doesn't see what I've just made. No! 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 We are going to Twitch jail, I agree! No! They're gonna add this to the list of banned games. <laughs> Second life hatred in Topolo. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't just watch these things move no! around. You can also fight them. Unfortunately, Alex, I haven't figured out how to import your own characters oh, into God. this mode. If, uh, if I did, I would find a way to make that character attack appropriately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm stuck to just the default roster. But you can see how this works. Dark Tetsuya, I don't know what's going on either. We've got a camel, horse maybe, a monkey, and that's it. Let's go with the camel. Oh, I can't use the camel. All right, so it's monkey versus knight. That doesn't seem very fair. Doesn't it? Knight has a shield and a sword. Well, I'm a monkey. What fucking powers oh, you got? I can do this. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> so if you were hoping for something more in-depth than this, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's basically just an excuse to take your creations and have them smash up against one another. Uh, this monkey, as predicted, is not doing very well against the knight. Hmm, Hyper Porter mentions this is similar to, uh, uh, Graffiti Kingdom. On oh, the is PS2. It? I've heard of that game. Yeah, it's where you, uh, draw your characters and stuff. I actually played a bit of that. It was, I feel bad. That was around a time when we were getting a lot of games, like, from character in game, a lot of those on the DS and stuff like that. I've died. Sure have. The knight is victorious. And I remember it actually being kind of difficult to draw in. Difficult to make the characters I wanted. In. Cool idea, though. Yeah, I like these games that let you make your own custom stuff and then put them in, like, within this established framework of gameplay mechanics. Yeah, yeah. This game does that, if to a limited extent. It's very, very simple, but, you know, it doesn't advertise itself as anything more. It, uh, it says on the cover, I think, please enjoy the digital toy, or something along those lines. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the savannah. Sort of magnet creature. Oh man, oh, it's man. quoting uh, whoever I, I don't know if you're right or who I forget who you are, Linus, and I apologize, but y'all quoting the uh, 
the, the former Lego online devs who tried to make online dong detection, and it was just impossible. Mm -hmm. Having spent any amount of time in recreated spaces like Second Life or Second Life uh, Elsewise grids, yeah, you it's you're gonna run into it's it's just constantly spotting flies. You're just gonna be constantly surrounded by dicks. No man, you're, there you're always gonna run into dicks. Even yeah. What a delightful way to phrase that. Uh, yeah. You can have constantly surrounded by dicks. Why? <laughs> what the I love to see is the bridge effect. See? Yeah. It's just like take a walk on the wild side, I guess. <laughs> well, it's very well structured, so it won't fall apart. It has like a. Uh... Loadstones and whoa. I think he rammed it into something and <laughs> made his character model. <laughs> Look at this! I love it. Well, that seems like the perfect way to end this first half of the stream. I I guess so. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. After the break, we'll be showing a couple of games by one particular designer. I will uh so this this intermission. We're going to show the first 10 minutes from a 40-minute talk that he did a few years ago. It's the dude behind Aquanaut's Holiday and Tale of the Sun, which we'll be featuring after the break. Uh, this, uh, this intermission shows that he has some really interesting ideas. He's a fascinating guy. And his inspirations are kind of unusual and unexpected. So we'll see his games after the break, but for now, here's some background.